Welcome back, Random TV Reviews, your girl Lynette. And it's your boy, Stan Lad. Coming in with this week's Queen Sugar, Season yeah. 5, Episode 3, late April 2020. We could have lived without having this entire episode because we're freaking living it. Yeah. We seriously, each and every person under the sound of my voice can literally just pick yourself up like you do on Google Maps when you're trying to creep and see the surroundings and place yourself right in any part of this storyline. Yep. And it will go over seamlessly because we are still in it. Yeah, my. <laughs> I mean, it, triggered, it. <laughs> it just triggered back so many, like, freaking emotions. I, I <sighs> thought I was past some stuff until I watched it. <laughs> and, you know, it was like, you know, when it was like, it's going to be two weeks. Then we've been home for six weeks. They they had six weeks and they struggling. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, you know, we was like, we was at six. We were good at six. Yeah, we was good. We was like, well, you know, maybe just, just another week or two and we're going to be back to normal. Yeah. But when the weeks started turning into months, that's when we was like, oh, hell no. What, what the hell is going on <laughs> with this goddamn virus, man? Yeah, yeah. With no, no said, end in sight. Said these ninjas trying to kill us? Like, what did me and Stanley looked at each other and said, so are we just prepared to be in this house to die? Like, what's happening? And like, I feel like that sometimes, I girl, I say, I, I, really I still do. feel like, like, what is this? Like, is this just an extended end? It's almost like I'm waiting on something to come that I don't know what's coming. Yeah. But like the Bible say, whatever you want to do, do it quickly. Because I'm both sick and tired of this. I'm tired of paying the bill. I'm tired of having to wipe my groceries down. And, and most of all, I'm tired of wearing that goddamn mask. Every time I think my lungs done fortified themselves to be able to handle walk around no mask in a grocery store, don't. God don't. I feel like I, 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 yeah, I just can't breathe, man. All right, so we're going to get, this is not going to, it's not going to be much of a review. It's really going to be a counseling session for all of us that have been triggered by this. Yeah. Like last week, I think it was my girl Keisha Charmaine was like, I didn't expect to be triggered by this, but I am so triggered by this opening of, um, not the opening, the second episode of Queen Sugar. Me too. Yeah. Like seriously, me too. Like when it's almost like like they say in church, when you look back over your life and you think, think things <laughs> over, you be like, wait a minute. We just ain't got that testimony yet. I ain't got <laughs> we, it. We, we still in it. it. We still in it. Yeah. But it's like watching somebody else start going through yeah. it. Yeah. It's like I ain't never been divorced, but I can only imagine like if you at the end of your divorce. And you you have a court date for when it's gonna be over. Yeah. And, but you see your girlfriend over there getting ready to start going through the divorce, and you yelling over there talking about some baby. You gonna get through it. You, you went for <laughs> you, a long road. You, no. <laughs> there's gonna be some times where you cry. There's gonna be some times where you okay with it, and there's gonna be times where you just not sure. We there. So let's get on with this counseling session. I do charge. Fifty nine ninety nine an hour, but tonight because fifty nine, yeah, but tonight. Oh, after this episode, it needs to be about two fifty an hour, man. But tonight, because we want to be generous, <clears throat> it's gonna be free. So tonight's okay. castle session is gonna be on me. Just remember me. If anything ever happens to me, you bring me my flowers, and you let you let people know how good of a person I am because I'm trying to make it into heaven. Yeah. But anyway, um, so this episode, pretty much, like I said, we have already lived it. We are living it, and it's pretty much. Those first six weeks were first two to six weeks mm -hmm. of the pandemic actually hitting and people trying to prepare themselves and prepare for everything that's going on with it. You have these, the staying home orders going on. You have the shortages of toilet paper and mm -hmm. groceries. You yep. have jobs starting to send people home. We don't know how long you're going to be home. Oh, yep. you're going to be home and definitely up oh, your furlough up. Oh, we don't know if you, we're ever going to bring, bring you back. back. Like, then you have the kids coming <clears throat> home to work, um, to do schooling from home. People not equipped with the right kind of Wi-Fi. And I looked at Stella, I said, ain't nothing about Ralph Angel in them house that say Wi-Fi. My doll up. Stella said they got <laughs> doll, doll up. up. They got the little man going across the screen uh -huh. like this. They go, AOL. Do, 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 do. <laughs> <laughs> you have mail. <laughs> But why would we switch to different service? We, we felt like the speed was a whole lot faster because you got a different service. Uh, but it was. Yeah, I mean, oh, it was. I mean, they had so they had so many services. Uh, AOL, AOL was probably the fastest. AOL, you thought you was hot money when you had AOL. Especially when they said, the rest of when you get that email, they said you, you got, got mail. mail. <laughs> Boy, you could 
<laughs> man. Oh, you were hot skit then, buddy. That's like getting a FaceTime on call right now. And that was around the first time you could afford to get a computer, too. And you got your computer, put that, got that dick on AOL disk, you know, you used to get from the <laughs> store, and put that joker in your disk drive, and then you got to pay for that goddamn trial basis, uh -huh. put your credit card in there, and you good to go. Or get somebody else's password, if you're lucky to have yeah. somebody had it. Pick you a telephone number to dial up, and you got you some internet, buddy. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> So let's get this episode on and popping. So we got Ralph Angel where he's he's dealing with the realization that I'm not going to be able to bring my um, farmers in to do any of this work. Yeah. We're going to go ahead and have to let the, the earth tend to itself. I can't bring nobody back. So he's calling each and every person. And then he got to one person and one person actually said they had already yeah, tested positive. positive. Yeah. And I was like, well, dang on, y'all ain't even got into it good. And yeah. it's starting to hit such a small community. Yeah. So I'm like, okay, so we got Ralph Angel doing all of that. We got Nova and Calvin. And that's kind of where me and Stella was at. Because especially when COVID first hit, I had just got off of my restrictions from the doctors. Mm -hmm. So it was a whole lot of bucking going on yeah. all the time. I had not went back three, to work. Four times a day. Yeah, Stella thought I was his lunch break, his uh -huh. regular breaks. Oh, you was. <laughs> So it was a lot of bucking going on around. I said, all right, no, in a few minutes, you can be sick of Calvin. <laughs> and he going to be sick of you. <laughs> he going to get sick of them candles. He going to get sick of not having, not being able to lay his head on your silk pillow. He going to be sick of not being able to sleep, get in that bed and eat and have crumbs everywhere. Y'all just going to be sick of each other for no freaking reason. Be prepared for it. It's counseling. We're going to get through it. Or will you? So they're all talking about, you know, everybody having their individual struggles with it and whatnot so of course nova being the person that she's is she's looking for a way to help serve the community so she started getting these care boxes together and of course everything has to be contactless so they're getting their boxes together and they're going and delivering them to each individual houses which i love that idea yeah and in actuality our um county i don't know if it was people that volunteered or county well, workers somebody I don't bought know. some stuff yeah but they came around to our neighborhood mm -hmm. and they dropped off masks mm -hmm. and um hand sanitizers and things like that. It was yep. just the little things that are very appreciative <clears throat> yeah. of things like that. So I really like that. I wish I actually, well, I couldn't have, but I wish I, yeah. yeah, we were too scared or that too. Yeah. We were too scared. To that scared. too. Um, <clears throat> but then I was even thinking about, we didn't even have the supplies to even do that. It was every man for itself. Remember yeah. we had to get up at five o'clock in the morning and go to, um, Home Depot uh -huh. to get sanitizer. Yep. And, and, and it was gone. Like, it was almost gone before we left that moment. I think the guy yep. behind us got the yep. last one, mm -hmm. and yep. we literally walked in when it opened. <clears throat> yep. So we see on uh, Vi like she's preparing her diner to be shut down for a while. So she's cooking up all the food. What I learned later on, she seems to be doing this pretty often under the guise that I'm serving my community. Which she is, but you're supposed to be shut down. Yeah. Uh -huh. So she's cooking up all the food, giving care boxes, and getting them sent out to different people's houses and whatnot. Because she don't want her food to spoil. I'm not mad at you. Yeah. But we, we know that you don't found found a way to, yeah. <laughs> to get over that hump. To, to, yeah. It is what it is. So <clears throat> we see um Hollywood. Hollywood is having a conversation with his mom on FaceTime. And his mom is talking about how she having to play games on the computer with uh -huh. her friends. She don't like it, blah, 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 blah. So one of them already cheat. So, <laughs> so they know she can cheat virtually. <laughs> so next thing we know, well, no, actually he had a conversation with her about her opening up the box that she said <clears throat> that they had sent her. And I said, you know, she ain't opened that box, opened that box up for 14, for 14 days. days. It's sitting out, and I said, if that did not trigger something right there, yeah, man. because before, <laughs> We done got a little bit more comfortable now, but before, our male used to sit outside. Mm -hmm. We used to spray it down. Yep. And then it sit outside again. In the sun. In the sun. <laughs> <Let it kill laughs> the church. We still wipe down our groceries and all that, so I even saw, like, Dollar doing that. Yeah. So, Hollywood's mom has developed the cough. And she immediately said, Hollywood, don't don't be worrying. I'm, and, I'm fine. And everything ain't the Rona. Just because somebody get the cough, it don't mean it's the Rona. <laughs> To me, it do. Uh -huh. <laughs> if you sneeze around me, I'm like, mm. you sneeze, Corona, Corona, man, it's <laughs> So later on in the episode, we saw, and I'm skipping ahead, <clears throat> skipping around. Later on in the episode, we saw that Hollywood was actually trying to get in touch with his mom and not able to do so. Yeah. So he called a neighbor, and the neighbor went by and said that she's okay, but she, she out of it. 
Yeah. And Hollywood had looked up the symptoms of coronavirus, and that was actually one of the symptoms. And he is really like in this weird place where you, where most of us have been. Yeah. Real talk. When you have people that you want to check on, but you have to think about yourself. Uh huh. You have to think about the people and that them. You, yeah, them. Because you might be carrying it to them. And then you have people that <clears throat> you have to come back to. Yep. And you're like, I'm in this freaking love and hate triangle with this invisible force mm-hmm. that I can't see. So I can't yep. combat it because I can't see it. And that's where he is. So Vi's like, if you really <clears throat> worried about your mom, you need to go up there and, and just lay your eyes on her. And I said, that's really easy for you to say. He lives with an older woman. Right. Let's go ahead and keep it a buck. Yeah. He live with an older woman. He get ready to go see an older woman. If that older woman got the <clears throat> Rona and he come back to you, you won't get the Rona. Hey, you know he ain't fitting to drive to his mama house and his mama comes to the door and say, and, hey, I'm hey, alright. And you drive on back. It doesn't work uh, like yeah, that. Yeah. You ain't doing that. You're going in the house. Yeah. So we don't know how that is. So <clears throat> then we see, you know, that we're learning now about, you know, ICUs filling up, not enough vents. Mm-hmm. You know, people, um, they making these makeshift moors because the people are dying faster than they can do something with yep. their bodies. Like, it, skit is getting real. Skit is getting too goddamn real. So we see Nova goes over there and drops off a care package to Mr. Prosper. I said, first oh, of all, yeah. this this was the scene right here. First of all, yeah. <clears throat> y'all gonna stop. Y'all gonna stop. Yeah, y'all gonna y'all stop. Keep y'all keep on stacking stop. the chips, man, to let us know that something is gonna happen to Prosper. We just don't know what. It better not. I, I got a feeling. <laughs> they put like, putting too much emphasis on it, man. We lost James Greenleaf. We can't lose Prosper. That was a year ago, though. So we. I'm still uh, yeah. hurt. <laughs> you said I'm still hurt too. <laughs> First him, <laughs> then Ronald. Yeah. We we can't. I can't do this. But the way that Mr. Prosper responded to Nova, that definitely hit home because it made me thought about when I went back to our grocery store right down the street. Yeah. And this guy in the seafood section that we always talk, he could see me coming. And he just and, lights up. Yeah, and you know he already know we come get some crab cakes. And he always he would be like, I wish I could get them crab cakes. They're I can't, I can't, they too high, I can't afford them. I'm like, all right, whatever. And I went in there after the, you know, we finally got back to the store. And I had asked them something. Well, no, they was getting ready to close. And I was, and I went as my normal self, playful. And he was like, no, 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 we closed, we closed, Mm-mm-mm. we closed. Yes, and I was yes. like, wow. wow. Yeah. And not only him, a whole lot and some of the other workers wouldn't even look in your eye anymore that we used to talk to all the yeah. time. It the was, human connection was just boom. Yeah. Like depression had set in, like people's personalities was start everybody was under so much, much. Everybody not was scared was, as hell. They were scared, man. Is. Man, we still scared. I mean we a lot better with the human um interaction yeah. than we was, you know, back then. But still even now, I mean, it's still like a it's level like, of coldness, you know. Yeah. You know, when you're going out, people, you know, people not looking at you. Now, some people will smile at you. You know, you try to smile with your eyes. You smile at you. Say, let's glean. They can't see your smile when you try, you know, glint grin, your eyes so they know you're smiling. Yeah, you know? yeah. And um, that takes me back to when I had to first go back to my doctor. Like, I kept rescheduling my appointments because I was like, I going to the doctor is the last place you really want to go. Yeah. But it was my, I had to do a follow-up. <clears throat> So I went to my doctor's um, office, and my doctor's office is like in this, it's huge. So there's different practices within the um, buildings. And listen, I have never been, and I'm not a crier. I'm not emotional at all, honestly. Correct. Um, I'm really not. I'm like hardcore. I'm a thug. <laughs> but um, I went to the doctor. For life. For life. And I had been through the protocol before at different doctor's offices. But this one right here, I have never felt fear and looked in the eyes of fear like I did that day. And I was trying to hold it together. I got in there. I did all my, you know, the protocol, the COVID protocol, to answer the questions, did you temperature check? And at my doctor's office, you can't go in the office because they don't took all the chairs up. So literally, they let them know you here. If they're not ready for you, you go sit in your car. If they ready for you, you literally go like a snake and mm-hmm. go right back to the office. I was cool. 
what I was not cool with was when the nurse came in. She was better than the doctor. She came in, everything was matter of fact. Shield, two masks, stuff over her head, gloves right here, taped up around here. You know, back then, everybody was like, I'm not taking no chances. Yep. I mean, the double glove, this, that, and the third. And she stood across the room. Hmm. And she took all my information, got updates, everything from across the room. And then when it was time to check my blood pressure and my temperature, I had to turn away from her, get my blood pressure. Then when it was time to do my mask, it was literally like a corner Hmm. I mean, it was just so cold. Then the doctor came in. And my doctor has great personality. Has to be to deal with me. And he comes in and he has on what looks like a full hazmat suit. Mm -hmm. To the point where I didn't know who he was. Wow. Because the only thing that I could see was him right here in this distorted bubble. I got my appointment over with and I drove home and I was trying to get myself together <laughs> like... I have never felt fear like that in my life. Yeah. And I have been in some situations where I've been scared. Never like that. So I get home and for some reason Stanley was at the door. Like he may have felt that something was off. So no, I didn't want you to go. Yeah, he didn't yeah, want me I didn't to go. Want you to go. So, and we had this route that's what it was. We had the routine that um we spray each other before we came in the house. Yeah. So he was at the door getting ready to spray me mm -hmm. off and he looked at me and he said, What's wrong with you? And I just fell in his arms mm -hmm. and just, just collapsed. cried and yep. just boohoo and I got in the shower and I could not stop crying and he was like what happened to you like he yeah, thought that I had a bad on? report or something yeah, what and I was on? like Stanley I don't know what's happening like I don't know what's happening like I've never seen healthcare workers feel for of anything mm -hmm. these are people they front line they front line yep. and to see that level of fear with this Mm -hmm. It just did something to me, y'all. And it took me a while to shake that. Oh, my God. Like, it's just it's making me emotional even thinking about it. Mm -hmm. So, when I saw Prosper look like that, he embodied yeah. that emotion and that fear that I saw on them that day. Yeah. Like, he was like, no, but I know you're here for good. And I know you're here because you love me. You're trying to protect me and keep me prepared. But, but I you, need but you to go. Yeah, but because you, you might got the right. You yeah, might got, you the might got it. And, and stop yeah. talking to me. Stop yep. prolonging your just, visit. Just put that skit down on the counter. <laughs> yeah. So much so that she had to go home and, 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 and pray. And she had to pray. She, she handles said, everything. She said, I got to clear his energy. But here's the thing. We have to think about those people. And you could be one of those that's watching. People that had to be by themselves yeah. in those critical moments mm -hmm. of when the fear was at its peak. Yep. And you, I mean, and you're sitting there. And listening at the news at the same time. All you're doing is absorbing Yeah, news, all that negative fear. Yeah. Uh -huh. You got Trump. You got this. Yep. I mean, you you just did. Fauci. Yeah. All them. Yeah. Wet mass, no mass. Mm -hmm. Mass, no it's mass. It's airborne. It's not airborne. You know, you and, can you got to be six feet away. Now nah, you got to be further than six feet away. It's, it, it always would change. Yeah. By the day, so, so I couldn't imagine. I couldn't imagine being either. home by myself. And then it got to a point with even with our household, because my mom's friend, he lives by himself, and I said that's not good. Like, okay, after like fourteen days, I was like, if he had anything, he would have had it by, and we would have been displaying it by now. Yeah. So after a while, I had to start letting them have communication and interaction with each other because one day I took her around there just to see him from the curve. I was like, he can come to the step, y'all can wave, speak, whatever, but you know, no contact. He literally had aged, like he yeah. looked like he was two years older within a month. That's crazy. And I said, we got to do something about this because mm. he needs the human interaction. Now, look like a back, teenager back again. Normal now. Yep. Just back, back to his normal self, yep. but had aged. It, it was a lot. <clears throat> so like I said, this is a counseling session for all of us because right. we, we don't already been there. So um, we see Dollar, like I said before, she went through this fight at the grocery store. But it looked like she got way more toilet paper than they allowed us to have. Got that big old jar of dill pickles. I said, now, people been talking about Dollar. Now, in real life, Dollar ain't thick at all. 
and she not pudgy. So when this was um, filmed, and by now, if she was pregnant, she would be showing by now. Unless what she's showing us on social media is old. But are they trying to bring us into Dala being pregnant on this show? Because what was this big, giant thing of pickles doing on the table? Yeah, uh -huh. With some raisin bran. Yeah. Fruity loose. <laughs> Toilet paper and of all things, this big old thing of pickles that no one addressed. Yeah, that's a that's a big pickle jar. You should be in the convenience store back in the yeah, day. Yeah, that you, you pay twenty five cents cent for. Yep. And they put it in that hot dog on <laughs> yep. that hot dog paper. Yep. Yeah, yeah. So, me and my sister used to eat. Ugh. That is Slim Jims. Oh, my brother used to eat Ugh. them dill pickles all the time too. My sister used to eat the fat. <laughs> and dill pickles are good though. The sweet ones are better though. The but, smell. But dill pickles are good. So, um, what else that happened? Uh, da, da, da. So, Ra, now that he's under the real... See, we don't give... I don't give Ra or Dollar credit. But when I give them credit, it's because they need it. And they deserve it. Ra is really growing up. Yeah, he is. This season. Mm -hmm. And, like, there was an episode, um, a part in the episode where... Dollar was like, listen, I don't know how we're going to make it, but why don't you ask Charlie for a loan? And he was like, I can't keep running to Charlie every time we have problems. We have problems. Every yep. time we get in a bind. Mm -hmm. Let me figure it out. I saw him go out there and you know, a tractor to a farmer is like a car. Let's go, man. It's like a car to an Uber driver. Huh. There's nothing without yeah. that. Right. <clears throat> he sold one of the tractors. I think he wanted eighty five hundred for it, and he ended up get selling it for seven. Seven. Mm -hmm. And the guy he sold it to was like, "Listen, this is all I, I got." got. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, "What you about to do with that tractor?" That was that's how my mind works. If he can't do nothing with his stuff, what you about to do with yours? Because most likely he probably was in a better position than Ra is, so he able to get a get. So equipment at a discount so when things come back around which we thought was gonna happen fast <laughs> <laughs> so he probably was like i buy this tractor now at a discount you know week or two month we back farming i'll be good is it like it's over there running the mill or something huh because something psych. just did something didn't sit didn't feel right to me when he i said why is he buying so a you tractor th so you think landry sent him over there that what you saying no what i'm saying to is buy the tractor because I'm always that person that's like, I'm <clears throat> thinking down the street and around the corner. If he can't do nothing with his own tractor right now, what you need one for right now? He put it in the hole, man, like I told you. No. Buy it in the hole. Uh-uh. So when it comes out, he thought, like you said, we, a lot of us thought we was going to be out of quarantine in a matter of weeks. Right. So, you know, I probably went and bought something at a, at a good discount like that. We he Based on at? what they would say. We live at. Mm -hmm. I need to see if any of his, his um, coin is get. It, it being chopped down because if so somebody is milling it but i feel so bad for rado man because he was like this is their this is his best year i ain't, I ain't skipping ahead on him no this was his best year with the sugar cane it looks great tall and can't even harvest it right mm -mm. Mm -mm. that he had to be dumb down. i'm not gonna say dumb down but he had to swallow his ego and his pride and go get a job yeah. And I don't know how it actually feels to be to be an entrepreneur and then having to go back and work for somebody else, but I can only imagine that is hard. And for raw for the raw that we know well, to oh man. To hum but we talking about raw now though. To humble himself enough to be like, you know what, I'm gonna have to do what I had to do to take care of my family. So he is growing up. Yeah. But I do have a few questions. And I'm the person that always says I ain't trying to count nobody else's coins. But sometimes I think I'm lying to myself. Ra, <laughs> you said that you just got $7,000 from this tractor sale. And it ain't make a dent in your bill? What, what do you owe? Like, because I know you. I, tried, I, told I you, know you can't have. I told you it was business. Expenses, man. Buck a business expense. Cause you, cause you got. You don't have no mortgage. I know you ain't got no. The electricity probably look, one fifty four. I might listen. Now. You got dollar up twenty nine ninety nine. If that. You do they got a house phone? No, listen. No. <laughs> I'm trying to run their bills. No, we ain't. <laughs> we ain't talking about household bills now. 
We know he ain't got seven thousand no, no, dollars no. in household bills. We're not running the business right now. It's shut down. What are we? What is we paying for? His you business. know business. I do. You know he, his you. business is in the field. What we paying for? Because money you, in, money out. Because you have to pay uh, your freaking ho well in the form, and I don't know who you got to pay up front. But if if we if we running if we running a grocery store, we had to end up pre buying all that stuff to put in our store, and then all of a sudden, uh, and usually what happened? We get all the inventory in the store. And then we looking for people to come and buy from us so we can pay our supplier. That's what I was looking for, suppliers. So he he had money up front. Well, he got money, he owes suppliers, man. So they ain't talking about, you know, his house. Stand. Unless they buy seed on credit. They do. ain't no supply. They do. All right, I'm gonna let you I guess it. they do. Because <laughs> <laughs> I'm not I just know in any level of business, you have to put, you have to first put up capital, or you have to get business credit. So in other words, somebody well, fronted him, some, front, front him something for the business, man. He, so I don't know farmers. I, I, I feel harvest. stupid talking about it because I don't know farmers. You just don't want me to be right. That's what it is. Now there was a business this, that I know. This, I, this, but, well, let's go to you. You was running the hair business. Let's, yes. So you can understand. I, oh, I know. So. The hair business, you uh -huh. can either use your own capital uh -huh. to pay for the hair, or you can get the business loan or credit card to free buy the hair uh -huh. first, because you know somebody's gonna buy it. So you done went along and you done pre bought the hair. I'm not saying that you did it, no, but, I'm, I didn't. but I'm <laughs> but I'm but I'm I'm trying to make a point here. I know you just don't want me to be right. You put it on the credit card. This is what happens in quarantine. And you looking for people to buy hair, and you got shut down because of the coronavirus. Now you got all this hair that you bought on credit. The next month, the credit card company or the bank don't give a D that the coronavirus came and ain't nobody come buy no hair. Hey, they want a payment. Hey, Stella. I'm trying to get you to understand. <laughs> I don't need to. Because <laughs> I know I'm right. <laughs> I, I don't need to understand at all. <laughs> so, let's move the story along. Dollar them got laid off, y'all. Cause she don't have what seven people in her, in her um department, her office or whatever they tested positive. <clears throat> so they was like, we not risking it. All of y'all, all gonna have to come home. She out there playing her garden, and Ralph Angel was like, listen, I guess we won't go hungry. If you came by, you gonna have to grow uh -huh. it. Listen, I've always been interested in growing a garden. Real talk, but I'm yeah, scared. we were talking about it for years. Man, never stop. Maybe, maybe I'm scared we'll, of snakes. <laughs> maybe once it get a little bit warm, maybe um, I gotta say in March. We is in March. Yeah, we are. And we get then we get the months fast, y'all. God darn. Yeah, Rona, Rona got so whenever kindness. whenever the, the weather change or when, when, but I did like how they pretty much hit every aspect of what people dealt with mm -hmm. during those first time those first initial weeks of covid yeah where you have parents trying to find a balance between okay i'm home now and i'm home with my child and i'm still trying to figure out how to do my work yeah. around trying to help them do their work mm -hmm. children not learning the way they want to wi-fi bucking up yep so we trying to figure this out like i like that then i like when ralph angel was getting ready to go to work and dollar was clowning him on his lineup because she was like <laughs> he was like listen when you can't get to a barber you, you do what you gotta do, do. And, and me and listen well you do good but did y'all see like dj Khaled? And T.I. Oh, they would. Oh, them, 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 them cats are rough. Some of y'all motherfuckers <laughs> need money. That's all I got to say. Some of y'all need the money. Because when I looked at DJ Khaled, I said, oh, shit. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> and I looked at T.I. I said, just get the call me pop it. Just, just pop it. Pop it. Pop it. Because I can't do that B to B right there to tell you that it pop. It hurts a little bit. But it'll be okay in the bathroom. You need to go to sleep. <laughs> I'm trying to. <laughs> I was like, and then he was always up in the camera. And I was like, T, I don't get that close right there. Because it looked like pubic hair. I mean, they weren't the only ones. They were all ones looking Oh, it, it, it was a whole was, lot of cancers. Yeah, man. Around. When when they finally lifted that thing and they could get that. Uh -huh. I looked at DJ Khaled on Snapchat. I said, and I'm not the one. Uh -huh. I was so glad. I was so <laughs> glad. Say, the Lord is good. We can finally get a haircut. And I said, I hope your wife, you went down on your wife door. Cool. Um, there we go. <laughs> we got Micah. Micah back at home with Charlie, right? And 
This was another dynamic that they, they, <clears throat> they mastered. You have someone that has been used to being out there at college doing whatever the yeah, fuck what they, they wanted want. to do. Uh-huh. Having to come back home and live under your roof. That's one dynamic. Yep. Then the second dynamic is you got to stay here. Yep. And you got Can't to cut roam. off your interaction with anybody outside of this house. But you first had the interaction between mama and son having to kind of be isolated from each other within until the house until they get tested to make yeah. sure that, okay, this so is good. Mm-hmm. He talking about some, oh, mom, I'm going to go get something to eat. Then I'm going to go hang out with my friends. She was like, wait, no, wait, 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 wait. No, no, that ain't what we agreed to. The agreement was that you get here. You stay here, nobody, not even Kiki. Well, he said, well, Kiki going to be easy because she broke up with, with me. me. Uh, Charlie was like. Charlie looked like. That like what? Some may right nah, now. This, this is not the full story. And I said. I knew it wasn't right. I knew, I knew that homeboy found another piece baby. I knew he did. This, that's when that David Schwesh came out of it. <laughs> Just like your daddy, huh? So. So we we I guess at some point we going we going they going to clash. Cuz um oh yeah. Oh yeah, they uh, both definitely going to clash. Uh, if I had already told They clash and he ain't even living there. Yeah. Uh, if I had already told Charlie said Charlie. Mhm. When Nova came home, her and Ernest was clashing oh, like a mug. She was like me and Michael are different. She was <laughs> like uh-huh. Now uh-huh. when you got somebody that don't been out there, they smelling themselves and they think they grown without money. So he already yeah. joined, a, joined a fraternity that didn't even tell uh-huh. you. Your broke best friend. That's so what he imagine is. So what kind of other kind of secrets he going to have while he living back at your house. Yeah. So. And, and probably going to start sneaking out. That's what he going to do. Mm-hmm. Oh, he going to sneak out. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And then. Um, With no mask. None. <laughs> and now he's he's talking to a girl that seems to be. Obsessed see, this with is, Charlie. Yeah. yeah. So now you don't even know what her motive is. Right. Does she even like you? Or she just wants to get beside what is glamorous at the moment. Yeah, matter of fact, she might be trying to start a YouTube channel. Stop! <laughs> Use Charlie name to grow. <laughs> Not doing that tonight. Not doing it at all. So, y'all, Stan I already told y'all that Ralph Angel had to go get a job, right? But I love the interaction that he had. Oh, with, yeah, man. What was he, her name? Mrs. Thompson. So, I guess oh, Mrs. He Thompson nailed, was. He nailed that. And I love both of them in that. Because yeah. when you usually see like um, owning businesses like that, it's usually cash cow. It's because bodies produce money. We pay you less. We make more in and out, in and out. You know what it is? And she was like, listen, let me tell you something right here. This business right here is in the caregiving business. Meaning that we don't want you here if this is the only thing you're going to do is collect a check. Yeah, we don't need you. We money need grab. you to care for these people. We need you to have <clears> them as your first priority and pretty much i was like okay so this ain't a money grab for her like she really does care about her residents Mm -hmm. you can tell when you go into a facility whether or not the person over it cares or not yep i you can feel it you can sense it so you talk to my mom about that yeah (laughs) and so she was saying i don't want you here because times are tight you're a farmer you're used to being a boss i don't want you here because it's the check because that translates they feel that. I need you here because this is where you want to be. He said, let me go ahead and tell you something real quick. Mm-hmm. I am used to being a boss. Yep. And being a boss, I'm able to see what a good employee Boy, looks, looks like. like. I'm here to solve uh-huh. all your problems. I said, come said, on, Charlie. And he said, my daddy used to run the farm and sweep floors and mop floors and stuff he like sure that. sure did. I almost yep. forgot about that. I said, yes, sir. He go said, ahead, Ralph. So he said, matter of fact, I'm going to make you a good employee because I know what a good employee looks like. He said, my daddy did honest work. Yep. He said. And he said he did what he had to do. And pretty much, but, this ain't what I'm supposed to be doing, but this is what I'm going to do and I'm going to do it with. I'm going to do it with excellence. Black excellence. At that. She said, when can you start? Say, can you start Monday? <laughs> I said, well, how much is it though? How much? Because you already said the pay ain't good. How much? Because if you say from $5 to $75, say I'm going to slap the skit out you. But that's what they be trying to do to them people. Mm-hmm. Pay them a little bit of money for that back breaking work. Yeah, but one excellent service. Let me tell you. Well, excellent work from you and no one paid. I first booed a retro ride. My uncle that worked at Philip Morris got me a job at the hotel beside him while I was going to college. In housekeeping. <laughs> so that's a job right there, buddy. Listen. Huh. I 
I didn't <clears throat> even want my first check. Say you were that tired? I didn't even want it. I I have never been so exhausted in my life. <laughs> in my life. I was so mentally tired. I could not go get my last check. They probably still got it. I need to go check unclaimedfunds.com. Mm, it might be over there. Uh -huh. I never went and got it. Because it probably won't number fit all the way <laughs> back then. Oh, my God. Should we in a pandemic? You need to look up that money. You see how much it don't grow. Uh-huh. <laughs> so, after Nova done cleared Mr. Prosper's energy... And what had happened was Hollywood was trying to call Mr. Prosper. Mr. Prosper has started cutting off the world. Mm -hmm. Wouldn't ask the phone. No phone. All he doing is sitting there eating TV <clears throat> dinners. And I'm like, shoot. Yeah. Eating TV dinners from the bed mm -hmm. to the so to the to the, his lazy boy, from the bed to the lazy boy, TV, bathroom. Ugh. Yep. So he eventually answered the phone and he thought it was Hollywood, but it was actually Nova. And um, Nova was like, you know, you okay? And he was like, I'm so sorry for how I snapped at you the other day. And she said, don't even worry about it. I so get So we it. all dealing with we it We all dealing with it differently. So yeah. don't even apologize for nothing like that. And I love what she did. She got an old soul. She found a way to make Prosper feel like he had a purpose. Yep. In that moment. In a moment where you felt like. I'm worthless. I'm worthless. I can't do anything. Nothing's yeah. happening for me. That's what the virus made you made you feel so yeah. powerless. Yeah, like. And she was like, <clears throat> I, I'm actually thinking about doing this, this, and that. And I would love to get your input and actually, you know, pretty much give you a little feature. Um, we'll talk about the homeless and setting up these abandoned hotels for the homeless or something like that. And he just lit up. Because yeah. he had something to do. Yep. He was like, oh, yeah, I'm he had glad a, to help. Yeah, he had a sense of purpose. Yeah. And I saw so many people, like, in my neighborhood group um, in my, on the Nextdoor app. Older people were like, I'm in here making masks, and I'm making masks for the frontline workers because it made them feel like they could actually do something. Yeah. So I really love how they, they wrote that in there, that at the end of it, that was the way that she kind of broke him, him out, out of, of it, it. Yeah. And brought him back around, so... Yep. It's yeah, and at the end they pretty y'all better not do nothing to Mr. Prosper, man. No, so they better was, not do nothing. But I got a feeling they are. Yeah, they really are. Or Hollywood's mama, which yeah, Hollywood's mama is not gonna be the impact for us, cause I mean I'm not trying to be funny. We don't know her. Yeah. Um, but Vi and Ha, and then yeah, real talk, not. it could hit Charlie too because Michael home. But y'all, y'all tell me what y'all think about yeah. this episode. How's the therapy <laughs> session? Let me know in the comments. Straight from the VA. The Dirty Dirty South. Two up. Two down. Holla. Boom.